Hey guys, in this video, we're going to cover the Facebook Pixel integration into ClickFunnels. Hi guys, this is one of almost six plus hours of videos I've added in my Ultimate Guide to ClickFunnels course. In the course, I cover everything you ever thought you wanted to know about ClickFunnels, including an introduction to ClickFunnels, the ClickFunnels layout, including Funnel Editor and Email Editor, any integration you would ever want or need to use with ClickFunnels, from payment processors to autoresponders to analytics to the Facebook ad pixel. Plus, I also cover the 22 different funnels that exist that could be giving your business the foundation it needs to succeed. And I cover exactly how ClickFunnels fits into your business. And any course about ClickFunnels couldn't be complete unless it covered how to use other people's products to do affiliate marketing with ClickFunnels. I sell this course for $197 on cfultimateguide.com slash ultimate guide to ClickFunnels course, but you can see how you can get this course valued at $197 for free when you sign up for ClickFunnels today by visiting cfultimateguide.com slash free 14 day trial or by clicking the affiliate link in the description below. Thanks everyone, and good luck with your funnel and marketing efforts in your business. So let's go ahead and choose a funnel. Let me navigate to my funnels here. And uh, with the Google Analytics in integration, we did that with the funnel that I have called Which Funnel. So I'm trying to find that really quick. Oh, here it is at the top, because probably because I just edited it. And uh, okay, so now we're here. We will be adding a Facebook pixel to the head tracking code. And um, so let's go ahead and uh, pick up what we need to from Facebook. So uh, Facebook has Facebook Business Manager. So if you don't already have a Facebook Business Manager account, go set one up and then uh, associate your page with it and you can associate your website. Um, but we are on the business settings option right now. So in order to get the pixel, you have to create the pixel first and then install it. So you go to business settings. Uh, actually, you just click the, uh, the um, link up here inside of business manager. This could say just about anything. It could say business manager, ads manager, any one of these items it could say up here. So you just click this item and then the navigation opens up. Then you go to business settings. And then uh, down here on the left-hand side under data sources, there's this option for pixels. So you come here and um, then you can add a pixel and you can add up to 10 pixels per business account. And I think they can increase the limit if you need more than that. But for now, we're just uh, adding another pixel and uh, I've already created one. It's called which funnel Facebook pixel. And if I want other people to be able to control it or other ad accounts to be able to control this pixel or take a look at it and the data that it's receiving, I can do that stuff right here. But in order to set it up, I'm going to go um, into the pixel integration information. So I'm just going to look at uh, the pixel code that I need to install. So I'm waiting for this to open here on Facebook. And waiting. It's just taking a minute. All right. <laughs> Internet finally decided to cooperate. Okay, so it's loading up here. Now I can just see, I can just, from this page, I'm literally just gonna click View Setup Instructions. I can see it's which funnel Facebook pixel over here on the left-hand side. And um, I can either email the instructions to a developer. We don't need to do, to do that. ClickFunnels makes it easy for us. Or I can add it to a tag manager like Google Tag Manager. Again, not necessarily necessary for ClickFunnels. So I'm just gonna take this and manually install the code myself. They talk about exactly what you're supposed to do here. Locate the header code for your website, copy the entire pixel code and, code and paste it into the website header, and um, you can do some other additional items here, right? So we're gonna install it, and then we're gonna send some test traffic and see that it has been installed correctly. So uh, let's just go ahead and grab it. So they say, here's the pixel code, and insert the pixel code here. Notice how they basically show this as the last item in the header. So let's see if that is mentioned very specifically or not. But anyways, they're showing it as the last item in the header. So we're just gonna copy this to, clip, uh, to clipboard and then go over here to ClickFunnels. And basically since it was the last one, uh, Google Analytics talked about their stuff being the first one. 
So Facebook is showing their stuff as the last one. So we'll just do like that and we'll just add it right beneath. We can see both Google Analytics and Facebook have a comment in the tracking code that lets you know when their code starts and where it ends. So in particular, we've uh, just added the Facebook pixel code and now we just have to save and update settings. And after we've done that, we should be able to confirm that our, tr our um, Facebook pixel is installed correctly. So let me grab the funnel, uh, the URL, the funnel URL, sorry, let me say that correctly, funnel URL, take that over here, send some test traffic, and hopefully this shows as being set up correctly. So we're gonna look at Facebook and see if they can identify that traffic has been sent. Awesome, so immediately we can see that our Facebook pixel is active. And now, since uh, we basically did this right after the Google Analytics video, why don't we go ahead and make sure Google Analytics is still tracking so that they're not stepping on each other. All right, it's logging into analytics and um, I can see that traffic was just sent just a second ago, but I'll go ahead and send one more test traffic. So I'll go to the admin page here and we'll keep this tab open so we can see more traffic coming through, but I'm just gonna go to um, tracking info, tracking code inside of uh, the admin section and then property. So um, I've chosen, I'm back here with, um, whichfunnel.com. Notice here I've got my property name, which funnel here on the left hand side. And I can send some test traffic, see if this uh, incre increments. And I can, I should also be able to see something come through here in just a minute. There it is. So that's the, uh, that is showing us that Google Analytics is still installed correctly. And um, I'm pretty sure this will update here in just a minute as well. Or maybe it, since it's me, it doesn't update the active users, but um, we can see that the traffic just came through right when I clicked it. So we know analytic, Google Analytics is still working and we know Facebook is now working with the Facebook Pixel. So if I wanna look at any of the Facebook data, I can just go in here and say, let's say continue. And I can also set up very specific events. Now, um, if I want to, I can get the pixel code specifically for a web page uh, or a page in the funnel. So these are all the standard events that Facebook tracks, right? They can track purchases, leads, registrations, payment info, cart, wish list, initiating checkout, searching and viewing content. Those are the standard events that they track, but you have to add just a little bit of extra code uh, to, your, um, to your pages so that it tracks correctly. And um, I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Um, but yeah, so we basically have already set up the Facebook pixel and what that will do is that will track page views, uh, at this point. So if we want to add some of these other items, we can, uh, get the, uh, information from here. So if we're going to track a, an extra, uh, event, we would fill out some information here. And this would also be based on like, if, if we're doing a purchase, this would be based directly on the information that we have inside of ClickFunnels. So uh, we would relate it to a product and specifically a product's price. And so we would include all that information right here. We would fill this out and then this information would update properly. And then we would take the code and add it into the body tag. It says place the event code on your order confirmation or purchase completion page and the, add the event code just below the, he, the end head tag. This allows the event code to load along with the pixel code when the page loads. So we would add this to the body of, um, of the uh, page. So we could do that in ClickFunnels and I'll just show you real quick if you wanna go that one extra step and track a few extra cut, um, standard events inside of ClickFunnels, we would select a page, then we would click edit page and inside of here, we can click settings and then look at tracking code. We can add, we could probably add that Facebook pixel code, write it here to the header code. Or if we wanted to, we could add a, an, um, we could add specifically an extra element that is an HTML element, custom JS HTML. And I would probably just put that right at the top of the page. And I would move that up. And then I would change my custom JavaScript code here, open the code editor and drop the Facebook pixel code 
right here to do the to do the standard events within uh, Facebook Pixel. If I wanted to track any one of those items that I had just mentioned a minute ago, purchases again, I'll go through that list: purchases, leads, registration, payment info, cart, wish list, initiating checkout, search, and viewing content. Now. Um, if you need help and you want this extra information installed for your Facebook pixel, you can reach out to myself or someone else and uh, we can figure out how to get you set up. Um, there are multiple places you can go online to get a freelancer to set up for you if you need a little bit of extra code installed on your website and you don't want to go through the hassle of making sure it's all set up correctly yourself. So that's it on the Facebook pixel code. We have already gone through Google Analytics and now we just added Facebook uh, Pixel, which will allow you to track any traffic sent straight from Facebook and also sent um, and actually it will track any page views inside of Facebook. And also it will allow you if you're doing ads through Facebook to get as much data as you need in Facebook. And uh, if you want to look at any of this information, um, so we should have this should be refreshed. Let's make sure that this looks the way we expect it to. And inside of here, now I can see when I reload the page that had the tracking setup instructions, I can see my data coming through and I can see the specific event types coming through down here. So that's pretty much it on, in terms of the Facebook pixel setup. And then we're going to do one more video and that's going to be related to Google AdWords and making sure everything is set up to track properly inside of Google AdWords. So, um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.